and you got to figure out, depending on how your uke is, you have to figure out which chest piece to use, which throw to use. So, again, you know, if, if somebody's bent over and you're fighting like this, you're, you're not going to be able to do Ashiwaza techniques. Okay? So you have to use a different chest piece, a different technique. Okay? Or use a combination technique. Okay, now I can do sayoi. I can come in with it. Okay? So don't try to force the issue. Don't try to learn two or three good techniques that you can fall back on. One for standing, one for bent over, one for, you know, tall guys, one for short guys, okay? Um, when I fought nationals, I had a heck of a guy fighting uh, this guy named Marching because he's like 6'1". <laughs> he's my weight, he's like 6'1". So, you know, I'm trying to do society because he stands up straight. I'm trying to do societies, and I can't reach his legs. Okay, no. um, the one time I was able to get his leg, I, I threw him. But usually I can't. So what I end up doing is grabbing him and, and getting him low. Okay. Now I can come in for tiles. I can come in for sayori. I can come in for different techniques. Uh, and he's, he's bent over, so his center of gravity, instead of being here, his center of gravity is somewhere here. So he's, you know, I can try to throw him in a forward technique, okay? Um, so don't be scared to use combinations. Like if, you know, if, if I want to do a right side technique and I don't like where that leg is. Sweet. Now I can come in for OG. I can come in for Sayori. Okay. Uh, in that case, I wouldn't come in for Tayo because she was leaning back. You've got a lot more harder, you know, um, a lot of work to to change that direction. Okay. Um, one of the things I yell at beginners all the time is that <laughs> it's, you know, they want to sweep this foot, but they pull. So I'm like, why are you putting all my weight on this foot to, to try to sweep it? That doesn't make any sense, right? <laughs> if I pull, you know, all her weight's on that foot. I'm not going to sweep it. Now if I push, her weight transfers to her back leg, and then you can sweep the foot back. Okay? So don't pull and try to sweep. <laughs> I mean, if they're taking a step and you're trying to catch it before she puts her weight down, you can sweep it out, you know, like the ashi. But that's before the foot goes down. Um, a lot of things are just common sense. Watch how your opponent reacts to an attack. Okay, so like if I come in for Osoto and she leans in towards me a lot, okay, then I reverse it if it's a side. Okay? If I come in for Osoto and she reacts a different way, then I either finish with an Osoto or you know I'll I'll turn it into something else. But watch how your opponent reacts to a given attack and how they keep their the weight on their feet. Like Ma, like Maji. You know, we've all fought Maji. And you know, like this, oh man, it's a tree stump. <laughs> you know when your dreams I go this way and you actually go, he say, this is no dream. <laughs> <laughs> right. But remember though, I think it, I think in fifteen years I've only thrown Maji three times. But remember, when he stands like this, where's his weak point? Where is he going to fall? 
If you can make a throw, where is weak point? Forward and backwards. On somebody like Maji, who has a really strong Ujimana, you don't want your leg anywhere behind <laughs> here because you're just sweeping up. <laughs> okay. Dead. <laughs> okay. So that only leaves this. Okay. So um, try to do techniques that you can throw him forward. Okay. Um, he's I mean, he, he keeps so much weight on that front leg that you can't you can't move it. The times I've thrown them have all been yoga to my eye. You know, because he's wide and he's here. And I would just slide in and throw him in that direction. He has to be really tired, though. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking at the other man. I have to kick him hard. <laughs> but uh, and he always accuses me of kicking him hard. But. Uh, you know, so think about that when you're, as you're fighting. Um, if, you know, as, as, if you're fighting and trying to get a grip, okay, see how she's leaning forward, then go ahead and try to make her. And, you know, use her weight against her. I mean, we're constantly telling you guys, make a move, make a move, move them around, okay? Because if... If I'm standing just straight, it's hard for her to do anything. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. And see how I'm still staying straight? Okay? Never cross your legs. <laughs> That's why we practice this at the beginning of class. Always the feet on the ground. Okay? So you never want to cross your legs to move over. You want to move around. You want to hear your feet. You don't. You don't want to be doing this, okay? Because somebody like Dougie can just sweep it right out. Move around. Keep your feet in contact with the mat all the time. Because this is first, and then the leg, okay? Most of us <coughs> think, well, you know, my leg has to be here so that you reach. This is not going to make the throw, okay? Purpose of body, upper body, and lower body. This will make the throw. But just don't think that this is, I'm supposed to get my leg here, this is, I'm doing this. Work. Kazushi and then the leg. Kazushi and the leg. Um, use your whole body. Just don't think about your leg position, your hip position. Okay. Let's uh, pair off and do a few rounds of tetra.